it's Scott from Motorhead Gaming back with the finale of Ghost Recon Wildlands. There you can saw at the beginning there the map. The El only thing left location. is El Sueño. Talk to the rebel so we're and find go out what he knows. Take this SOB down. You four are causing me more what trouble the than fuck? I've ever are you serious? Bolivia. The pleasure's all ours, Sueño. But if you like, we can end this right now. What does this clown want? In. You gonna offer us four for more cars to join him and not try to bring him in? Coward. You have no idea what is really going on. I can give you the truth about Sandoval. Enough bullshit. I have evidence, an audio recording of Ricky Sandoval confessing his greatest sin. Then you will see that your whole mission, your entire reason for being here, is based on a lie. Are you really this desperate oh, really? to save your own ass? More lies? Lie. I am many things, but a liar is not one of them. Listen to the audio recording yourself. There will be no tricks, but I doubt you will have much reason to come after me once you hear what Sandoval has to say. I'll be the judge of that, you freaking clown. Alright, so minor detour, go ahead and pick up this confession. With air quotes. Confession. I knew he was deceased. Even if Yuri and Bolinto stop, if they stop giving you pain right at this moment, we'll let the rebels know where to find the supplies. Done. They can pay us back later. Yeah, I figured as much. We already know the truth, but I want to know why. Tell me, Ricky. Then I promise I will make the pain go away. Enemy right. activity. Make the pain go away. It's a little too late for my confession to do you any good, so let's chop this up to professional courtesy. <laughs> it was me. I blew up the embassy in La Paz. Wait, what? You blew up the U.S. embassy in La Paz? Yeah. And it wasn't some DEA or CI false flag bullshit. The rebels helped with the op, but it was me. Why bomb your own embassy? I had no choice. Whoa, okay. My bosses were gonna pull me out of Bolivia. No one gave a shit about what you were doing down here. No one wanted to commit... <laughs> to commit any resources to... <laughs> to stopping you assholes. I... I needed them to pay attention. I needed a theater. And people don't pay attention at the theater unless somebody dies. I knew it. Knew you couldn't trust those damn rebels. They staged that whole fucking thing. Damn. Well, we're still gonna go after El Sueño. Just because it's still the last mission. This is the RV. Oh, uh, what's going on, Come on here? Move. Identify the body. Shit, I got a body here. It's that rebel leader Amaru. Oh, we freed that guy. Shit, from the, the guy we've saved at the Trying very to call beginning. Pack, but it isn't going through. Think Pack and his rebels threw down with the cartel, and Pack had to run? It doesn't look like there was much of a fight here. I'm calling Bowman. Maybe she's heard from Pack. Bowman, I don't like situation. this. We set up a meet with Pack and one of his guys. With Pack? Where are you? Listen, instead of Pack, we found Amaru. He's been killed. Have you heard from Pakatari? Pakatari is here with me in Pakara. Boom. Oh, fuck. Boom. You gotta be kidding me. The hell is going on here? No idea. I knew I knew you couldn't fast. trust that Never son of a bitch. Never thought I'd hear myself say this about a CIA officer, but if they hurt her, I'll burn oh, this whole boy. fucking country down to get back at them. Right there with you, man. So where is she? Bowman said Pack was with her. Then the call got cut off. Might be the sad phone dropped the call. Might be packed. Fucked us. Weaver, can you track Bowman's last known in Pukara? Got it. All right, there it is. All right, headed that way now. See what the hell's going on here? I swear to God, Pakatari's dead. I'm going to murder him and swing you. Bowman. Double cross bastard. Pakatari. Bowman's what about still alive. He turned on us. We were sent here as a diversion. Diversion from what? Sueño. The rebels found out where he is. Get to the mausoleum. I'll meet you there. 
Nomad? You understand what this means, right? From here on out, Pakatari and the Rebels are no longer our allies. Oh shit, so we gotta fight Cartel and Rebels. <coughs> Contact! Rebel Hostiles! Got a fucking 10 minute time limit to get over there? Come on, dude. I don't even have a car. I can't call the rebels to drop me off one. Dicks. Shit balls. I'm just gonna steal this Take cover. Damn, I thought he was. I thought he was one of my guys standing behind me. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta go. We got a long drive ahead of us. Gotta find that cute Pakatari. Good. Get to the main road. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. All right, we're all right. Call. Who is it? Yeah. The hell are you trying you. to do? And that dickhead driving head on into me. Doing what's right for my country. Let's take a shortcut. And swing it with oh, die on Bolivia soil. This is a bad idea. My people must know. Oh fuck. The government must know. Oh the other come on. Let's roll. Oh. The there we go. Are not slaves for the Americans. Get back in the car, dude. We are strong on our We need to own. go. Let's go. That's why you killed Amaru. Because he wasn't strong enough. Amaru was a man of ideals. Brilliant. <laughs> ideals. But ideals do not feed people. Ideals do not build armies. Ideals do not take down corrupt governments. Neither does getting people killed. My people know that if they die today, they will return tomorrow as thousands and thousands. That's not going to make it any less painful. There is one thing I've learned to embrace in this life. It's pain. A lesson I will soon teach to El Sueño. Now, unless you want to end up the same way, I suggest you leave Bolivia. Thank you for your help. Adios, camarada. Fuck you. You, you little prick. You wouldn't be in the position you're Opening in fire. for us, you ungrateful scumbag. Damn it, dude. I'm gonna fuck that guy up. The moment we saw that little son of a bitch in the first episode, I knew he was gonna be a little bitch. Are you kidding me? Flip over. Flip over. Flip over. There you go. I'm all disoriented. We're never gonna get there in time. Shooting mortars off now, that's great. That's great. Good. Good. Bust through the gates. Gates of had it! Far away. I don't feel like we've made any ground. What the? F Are you kidding? Oh my God! In how much of this game I've never had that happen except for the, the final episode. Engaging. Jeez. Christ. Trying to run. Oh, they brought tanks. Splendid. That's what we need. Die. Sorry, didn't mean to run in here. Man. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Whip it around there. Whip it around. Now we got the old 
black smoke. That's never good. We're screwed. We're screwed. Okay, we're still watching. Kate! You rattled the cage. Right. Come on, come on. Damn, my good. I vaguely remember this place. We're supposed to go on foot here. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this Humvee as far as I can fucking go. Taking a shot. Hoo -rah! Don't flip over again, I swear to God. Come on, baby. Jump it. Yeah! Baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, let's move this way. I, I don't know. Four minutes. Four stairs, that's a good sign. Going up. Up, 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 up. Come on, come on, come on. Get out. Let's go, go, go. There it is. Alright, we're gonna make it. Shit! It's still going! I get through that. Alright, move. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Cover, get to cover. Fuck you, kid. Oh, oh, no! Oh, my God. This is how it's gonna be in the last episode, huh? I'm gonna lay here and bleed out. Pacataria and El Sueño are laughing at me. They're gonna kill each other. Oh, finally. Fucking hell. I only got two minutes and 50 seconds to get to that damn door. Lord only knows if we need to do anything once we're in there. Might not have enough time. Show us your fucking hands! Now! I would. But unfortunately, my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad heifer. Put it down. As you wish. Adios, Senor Katari. You have five seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? Yes. Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir. Sir, that is not possible. I am telling you that it's not... Please, I am asking you that you... Sir. Yes, I understand. Fuck! 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 Bowman? Fuck you! Fuck! Bowman, what is it? Bowman! He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with Fuck! who? Who do you think? The DOJ! Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying... He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you, if you have power, everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman, it seems that yesterday you were my adversary. Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. Not your Bowman, fault, though. No. Oh! <clears throat> oh! Oh!
Okay. So is that the hundred percent ending? She fucking caps him. The dream is dead. If you're watching this, that means I have executed El Sueño. I'm certain that people will think I went crazy. That I did it out of emotion, that I broke. Fuck them. They're wrong. I knew exactly what I was doing. This piece of shit, this monster, tortured my friend. Killed him. Decapitated my partner. Massacred thousands. And he gets to walk? Uh, sorry, but not on my fucking watch. Given what El Sueño knew about Ricky Sandoval, he would have been unstoppable. Trivia question. What happens when you give immunity to a drug lord? Ding, ding, ding. You get a dictator. Taking out a drug lord is one thing, but stopping a dictator? You need a few more than four operators for that. My career, my freedom, my life is not worth more than the people of South America. Obviously, not everyone agrees. Which is why I'm most likely now in a federal correctional institute, getting three hots and a cot for the next 45 to life for murder. By now, CIA has probably released an official statement saying the case officer in question is no longer employed by this agency and acted in direct opposition to her superiors. Her actions have caused great harm to the continued efforts of the intelligence community here and abroad. And guess what? They're right. I would have done the same thing as them. No hard feelings here. I just hope they don't leave Bolivia. Without Pakatari, the rebellion will tear itself apart with infighting. Unidad will make a deal with the next criminal organization that comes along. And the remains of Santa Blanca will split off and form new mini-cartels. All with shitty names like Nueva Frontera Cartel, Berrio Familia and Los Hijo del Sueño. Everyone will continue killing each other for that coca. I wonder, if God knew all the destruction that this little leaf would bring, would she have still created it? Or maybe that's exactly why she did. I don't even know anymore. But it's no longer my question to answer. So I leave you with this. In the dying words of Augustus, founder and first emperor of the Roman Empire, have I played the part well? Then applaud as I exit. Bowman out. New ending. Congratulations, you completed all the story missions and unlocked an alternate ending. Why didn't it give me that the first time I did it? Serious? Bowman. Okay, I'm redoing it a second time. Although this time I have a little surprise <laughs> once we have to go to what the about? mausoleum. He turned on us. It's the same dialogue and everything. Diversion. diversion from what? What's so Sweden. different about this? The rebels found out where he is. Pat wants to have a public execution. Sorry, are you saying we need to stop Sueño from getting killed? Okay, that's different. I'm saying Sueño deserves to rot in prison for the rest of his life, not go out like a martyr. More importantly, he's got enough information inside his head to take down every major cartel out there. I intend to extract that information as thoroughly and as painfully as possible. Get to the mausoleum. I'll meet you there. Okay. She changed you know, her tune. You understand what this means, right? Yeah, Pakatari and the rebels aren't our friends. Here We're not our allies. Pakatari and Kill the rebels all. are no longer our allies. But lucky for us, we won't have to, and we'll get there in... Well, shorter time. Because before the allies and the rebels turned against us, Contact. I had them drop off a fucking helicopter. <laughs> you played yourself, rebels, you fucking idiots. What a bunch of schmucks. Knowing full well that we were going for Bowman, they still dropped off the helicopter. <laughs> now we're just gonna fly there like the badasses we are and take El Sueño down. Again! So much easier. So much easier this way. Wish I would have thought of it before, but I didn't know the Al the rebels were going to turn against us. What the hell was that? Oh. 
I did not plan for this, but obviously the developers did. Something is shooting at us, and it's getting closer, so I don't like this. Oh boy. Okay. Not sure what I should be doing. That sounded like it was right behind us. Oh boy. We're still gonna get there pretty quick. What the hell's got eyes on me? Oh shit. Please don't be an anti-aircraft. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god. We don't need the helicopter anymore. Fuck it. Alright. Hey, remember me, assholes? Got the wrong gun. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get for fucking taking me down last time, you dicks. Get the fuck in there. Record time. Show us your fucking hands, now! I would. But unfortunately, my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad Hefe. Put it down. As you wish. Adios, Senor Katari. You have five seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? Yes. Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir. Sir, that is not possible. I am telling you that it's not... Please, I am asking you that you... Sir. Yes, I understand. Fuck! 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 Bowman? Fuck you! Fuck! Bowman, what is it? Bowman! He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with Fuck! who? Who do you think? The DOJ! Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying... He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you, if you have power, everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman, it seems that yesterday you were my adversary. Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. NOC Karen Bowman, Plan Bolivia After Action Report. Officially, Operation Kingslayer was a success. The Santa Blanca drug cartel was dismantled, Unidad forces are severely weakened, and major shakeups are happening inside the Bolivian government. While the investigation into DEA agent Ricky Sandoval's murder continues, we're confident that those responsible have been neutralized. Most importantly, the man known as El Sueño is no more. He is now confidential informant number 38726B, and CI 38726B has been a veritable gold mine of intelligence. The Las Manas Muertas cartel accountant gunned down by the Mexican Marines last week? That was his. The El Saif terrorist cell arrested in Austria a month ago? Him too. Those Corsican Mafia gunrunners taken down in West Africa? All thanks to the snitch formerly known as El Sueño. The deal is, as long as he provides us with actionable intel, we let him keep breathing that fresh, freedom-filled air. Obviously, he's not ratting out his friends. These are all rival groups encroaching on his business. But, as the old adage goes, the enemy of my enemy is still a fucking enemy. And what is
does he get in return? Aside from the elimination of anyone standing in his way? A luxurious three-bedroom condo in Pinecrest, Florida. Along with free meals, a 50 buck per diem, and unlimited pay-per-view. All of the expense of our noble taxpayers. Of course, freedom is a malleable term. Thus, his room and board comes with 24-hour surveillance, live-in guards, and cameras in every room. Ever wonder how a former drug lord takes a shit? Trust me on this. It's not nearly as exciting as you'd think. And since most of the shit I say gets redacted anyway, I might as well give you a glimpse into my crystal ball. It won't last. Eventually, he's gonna run out of targets. And then what? No way CIA is putting up the money for a lifetime membership in WITSEC. Best case scenario? Mexico finally files their extradition papers and he ends up in prison for about a week before he disappears into the back of a suspiciously unattended laundry truck. Worst case, we just cut him loose. Maybe he spends a few weeks vacationing in the darkest corners of Eastern Europe before making his way down to El Salvador. Starts up a new cartel. Calls it El Renacimiento, the rebirth. Spends ten times more on security forces this go-round. Then makes his way into Peru and takes over the coca trade there. But now, he doubles down. Meth manufacturing. Heroin from the Middle East. MDMA, bath salt, steroids. If someone wants to swallow it, snort it, smoke it, or inject it, he'll make it, move it, and market it. Except guess the fuck what? I will be right there waiting for him. Me and my friends. Those operators. The ones who can't be seen, can't be heard, and can't possibly exist, yet somehow still manage to haunt your dreams. Bowman out. Well, that sets up a sequel quite nicely. Alright, well, that's both endings. And that's the end of the game. So, you guys let me know which ending you enjoyed the most. Let me know what your favorite moments were from the entire playthrough. And, uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and continue on with Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, like I said, I also have the Wolfenstein Youngblood playthrough that I did with one of my buddies. And might start doing some computer games. Not sure which ones yet. But, like I said, we we're going to be moving to computers. And might as well start that now. Won't be Ghost of Tsushima and stuff like that so lots of things going on with the channel lots of good, good things I hope oh fuck you I'm trying to talk and you're shooting me you dick but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and end this video there so thank you guys so very much for watching all of it uh, I really do appreciate it appreciate all of you all the support all the encouragement all the comments all the views all the likes thank you guys so very much and uh Hopefully we can keep this train going and keep the community getting bigger and building it more and more and uh, see how far we can go. So I'll see you guys in Ghost of Tsushima and we'll go from there. So take care and God bless. Bye.